Have you ever wondered how to receive payments from Google AdSense? Maybe you have a YouTube channel or a blog and you have made some money on your AdSense account and you want to link it to your bank account so you can be able to receive the payment physically in cash. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to link your bank details to Google AdSense. Original. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I teach you guys anything and everything you need to know about making money online, investing your money, and making your money work for you as well. So you might consider hitting that red subscribe button so you'll be notified each time I drop daily videos like this that I show you guys value and content on a daily basis. So once you go to your Google AdSense, I've shown you guys how to create a Google AdSense account. I'll leave the on the icon above so you can easily access the video and watch how you can successfully create your Google AdSense account like this. So you see this kind of dashboard. So once you come to your payments, click on payments on the left hand corner and it open up an interface whereby you add a new payment method. Well, I already have a payment method here. So this is where you click on manage payment methods. I already have a payment method here, but I'll show you guys step by step how to add a new payment method. So come here, this is my already existing payment method. Come here, click on add new payment method. Now they have three ways you can receive payments. One is Western Union, the other one is wire transfer, and the third one is buy check. They will send you a check whereby you can cash it out in any bank. So because of my location which is nigeria i don't have the um, western union option here they just remove it for certain countries but i have the wire transfer which i highly I live in the united states i highly recommend you use wire transfer don't use check you can use western union but i highly recommend wire transfer so click on the wire transfer option and here is beneficiary id you can contact your bank but it's optional it's not compulsory so here you put your bank name as your bank name applies on your account so i'll use to go original for the purpose of this tutorial but if you have your legit name use it here as it applies on your bank statement here you put your bank name now put the full name of your bank for instance i'll put united bank for africa that's uba don't put the abbreviation if you put the abbreviation they might not recognize the bank so plc so this is United Bank for Africa PLC. I don't even put UBA, I didn't put GTB for Grand Teachers Bank. I added the full name of the bank. So add as your own implies. So here's where you add your Swift BIC. So if you don't know your Swift BIC, you can easily come to Google and Google it. And I say UBA Swift Code. So I'll click on Swift Code, Swift Code on Google. Nine out of 10, it will appear here. So this is the Swift Code for UBA. So I can simply copy this and come here and paste it. Another way you can check this is using this TransferWise website. I'll leave the link below so you can easily access any bank suite code here. So no, no matter the country you are watching this video from, so you can confirm your suite code here. So if I copy this, if I copy this and come here and paste on it and click on check suite code to bring out the name of the bank and the information. So as you can see, United Bank for Africa PLC. So this is UBA. As you can see, the cities, levels, and the address. So you can see all the information here. But in case you don't know the suite code, I want to check it no matter the country you are. So come here on this corner, click on the country. For me, I'm in Nigeria, so I'll simply select Nigeria. So this is Nigeria. So you put the bank name, come here, and put United Bank for Africa. PLC, click on it so you have added it. So you put the city that you are in. So I'll put Lagos here. So this is Lagos. I'll put Lagos here and click on find suite code. So it now generates my own suite code for me. Code it generated for me. And this XX is for the branch already it's in Lagos. Then the branch is for the XS code. If I could check this with the Google, I can see tallies. Google one. You can use this website which will be on the description box to check your particular suite code. But if you are living in Nigeria, I will leave this link as well on the description box. You can check your suite code here. Every bank is here. So I will leave the suite code 
the link below in the description box rather so you can easily check it out and know your suit code here so once you generate your suit code let me use this for instance and come here based on it the next step is to put your account number so just put your own account number as your own implies so of course check it usually it's 10 digits you can retype it here or just copy and paste it here if you are sure so just put your switch code here so this is it so after that here these ones are optional but you have to have bank in usa for you to use this so these slides are optional so after that you are done simply you can select set as my primary payment method check it out click on check mark so to be your primary payment method and simply click on save once you click on save it will save this information so once your threshold hits the hundred dollars or whichever threshold mark you set it as as for me it's a hundred dollar threshold once it hits the hundred dollar i'll be able to make withdrawals so they will send automatically send me the hundred dollars or more depending on how much i have to the account that i've added here so they automatically send it to me and i will receive it so most times youtube pays you for a month let's say this month is january they will pay you january payment on february so you receive your january payment on february 11th or 12th it will appear on your adsense on the 12th of february so once it appears on your account they will send it to your bank that you link to your adsense on the uh, 23rd of that month of february so my i receive my general payment on february 23rd so it's usually 11 days they will send it to your adsense then 12 days they will send it to your bank so that's the math there so if you case you don't understand 11 days they will send it to your adsense account after 11 days of the previous month that just elapsed then after that 12 days after that they will send you to your bank account so basically it takes 23 days for your funds to appear on your bank account that you link to your google adsense so that's how to add the bank information on your google adsense in order to receive payments and make sure the bank is has to be a dumb account it has to be based in dollar pounds or euros whichever currency you are using it doesn't have to be on your local currency it has to be pounds dollars or euros depending on the currency that you set your access to or your youtube or blog to. so that's basically how it works so you create a dumb account in ever in whichever country you are in i'm just assuming you are not in the united states create a dumb account that's the mystery account and link it to your assets that's how you receive your payments well so this is my own recommended way of getting paid through our sense so that being said guys i'll see you guys on my next video